what's going on guys your boy bb here again and i am back with another video so it's been about a month since the iphone 16 and 16 pro dropped and i'm currently using the iphone 16 pro max as my daily i know you guys are probably going to be asking especially my subscribers they're going to be like yo what happened to the 16 pro and the 16 well first of all the 16 was just a review unit and the 16 pro i didn't like the color and it's it just feels like this 15 pro that i used last year so i decided to go with the 16 pro max in this black titanium colorway and guess what i already broke the phone if you guys could see the crack on the back i already broke the phone i'm gonna explain in detail in my day in the life video yes i'm going to be making another iphone day in the life because this is the 16 pro max and i'm going to be sharing my experience by the way spoiler a lot this is literally the best phone i've used in the last three years of iphones not because it's better than those but because like i'm i'm starting to put it to the actual use but that's besides the point for this video today I'm going to be showing you guys what I have on this phone. So starting off with like the entire setup of this phone that I have going on right now. So basically I'm rocking it with this case, the five case, this case, the five case, this is their impact um, transparent case. And honestly, it's a pretty solid case. Uh, I had it on, but then I took it off while I was flying my drone. That was how I broke the phone, but yeah, but it's a very, very clean case. It's very compact and simple. It just makes me feel like I don't have a case on. I like the entire design and I'm rocking it with this morphed wallet as well. So this is the morphed wallet and it just feels good, man. You guys look at the entire setup. Whenever I'm vlogging with the phone and stuff, if you guys want to see more of these accessories, I'll be talking about them in the day in a live video. So basically that's it. And I'm also always rocking it with my AirPods Pro 2. I recently got these. This is literally like one of the best. Actually, I didn't know I need these until I lost my AirPods Pro 1. And bro, the quality of these are like amazing. And I'm also always rocking it with my Apple Watch SE 2. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be getting a mechanical watch soon but honestly this is how i just rock my entire iphone system and it's been working out for me all right so i'm just gonna scoop right to this side of the screen and hopefully you guys could see my screen pop up right here hopefully that's enough room let me move a little bit more all right boom i think that's better so with regards to my lock screen i basically just have this wallpaper right here so this is the porsche gt3 rs it's one of my favorite cars and it's actually one of my dream cars hopefully i'll get to buy this car one day make sure you guys are subscribed if you guys want to see me buy this car and follow the journey so yeah the porsche gt3 rs this is my favorite wallpaper to use i have other ones as well if you guys want to see them and if you guys are wondering where i get this wallpaper from or you want to get this wallpaper make sure you go to my discord channel and go to the general chat section i share all my wallpapers on there so a lot of people keep asking me in the comment section down below and i've said this like multiple times go to my discord channel if you see any wallpaper on my channel and you're like bro where do you get this wallpaper from how can i get it just go to my discord channel i share all the wallpaper on there for free i don't sell anything so yeah that's number one now in terms of like how i set up my lock screen so basically i have this widget over here so the first one is going to be the weather and honestly i just like to see the, what the weather looks like every single day because that's how I actually choose the outfit I wear or how I plan my day, if I'm going to go somewhere or not, or if I want to do something outside. And then next to it, this is just something that's personal to me. I'm Muslim and I pray five times a day. So I like to know when my next prayer is gonna be. And that's the, what this next widget is. And then next up is like, um, this widget is just for like my watch to know what the battery percentage of my watch is. Honestly, it's, it's not just tied to the Apple watch. It's just tied to any Apple product that I have on at that time. And just to know what the battery percentage is looking like. And the last one is for my ultra human ring. So I'm currently wearing this ultra human ring right now. It's basically like a smart ring. It works just like a smart watch. And it basically tracks my health, my sleep and everything like that. I'll be diving into detail about that when I get to the app in a minute. So yeah, that's basically what I have for my home screen. And then down here at the bottom of the home screen, we have the touch light section. It's actually dope. You can actually like adjust like the lights to your liking, which is the new Apple thing that, with iOS 18. And it looks really dope. But I, I really find myself using this, to be honest. And but it's actually very, very dope for a dark environment, but we always have electricity 90% of the time. And next to it is the camera app. Honestly, 
I use I currently use this to access the camera these days. Um, I'm talking about the camera control button. Apple is not calling it a button, but it's actually a button. But I don't know what to put on this side of the screen, so I just leave it like that. There's really nothing going on over there. So now with regards to like what I actually have on the phone. So first is this own page. Honestly, I just put like random apps on this page. I have the photos app, the camera app, the file app, just apps that I just want to access randomly. But 90% of the time, this is actually how I access my apps. So I just use the spotlight search, scroll down and just search like Instagram. Boom. That's how I search for Instagram. That's how I search for my apps 90% of the time. But if I really want to access my apps, I could just navigate and stuff like that. I'll show you guys all the layouts in a minute. Now above all the apps is where I have these widgets. So these are stacked widgets. You guys should know how to use stacked widgets. It's built in. I think since iOS 14 or iOS 15, we've had stacked widgets. So first things first is the same thing as in my lock screen. I have all my prayer times over here. And then next up, I have the weather app. I just like to know what the weather will look like outside. And then I have all my Apple products battery just so I know when I need to charge them. So that's for that. And then down in the home section, this is like, you will see this in every part of the screen. And I have the caller app, which is just for like, if I want to make phone calls real quick. And then my, my browser of choice is the Chrome's app. So this is where I basically just search through the internet to find out what's going on and stuff like that. And next up, we have the messenger app. This is basically how I reach out to my friends and family and stuff like that. And lastly is the music app, boom. I know you guys might be you guys might be wondering bro why do you use apple music there's kind of like a war between apple music and spotify but i personally would always use apple music i don't like the way spotify just gives you like random music or creates like a playlist for you and everything i like my songs personalized i'm a very very niche person I listen to like certain songs. I listen, I, there, there will be days where I just want to listen to Whiskey all day. There will be days where I want to listen to Lil Baby all day. There will be days where I want to listen to Drake all day. And I like the way Apple just categorizes all the music. And they also create some nice playlists for, as well. For example, Whiskey is my favorite artist. I said this in my last um, What's on my iPhone video, but if I just click this, boom, it creates like this essential playlist for me. And honestly, none of the songs on this playlist misses. When I listen to the next song, I'm like, bro, I'm not skipping this. I love the song. So for me personally, Apple Music works really fine. If you're not using Apple Music, you, Apple, bro, that's like an Android type of thing. You know what I'm saying? Apple Music is for the Apple, real Apple fanboys. So let's get right next to it. Now let's go to business. So this page right here is where I started to personalize things. So first things first, I have the calendar app over here. The calendar app is basically for me to know what day it is. For some reason, I always find it hard to know what day it is. So this is how I know, you know what I'm saying? Like if you want to get paid, I know what day I'm going to get paid. I know what day I have to do something if I need to plan out something. And then right below the calendar app is where I have the time. It's like a weird spot to put it, but I like it like that. The reason why I have everything down like this is because the iPhone is such a big phone, bro. So I want to be able to, even though I have like relatively large hands, it's still kind of hard to like reach each corners cause this phone is 6.9 inches. So I just like to put everything like down below right here and then I could just easily reach everything. So I have like the timer right here and then right up to the right side, I have the, my notions app. And this notions app basically just takes me to like YouTube, my YouTube section in notion. So I created this template for all my YouTube ideas and stuff. So as you guys can see, I have like ideas, the ones I'm planning, the video, which I'm actually going to make scripting, filming, editing, and then ready to upload. So this ready to upload section is basically for like, if I have like a collaboration and I already made a video, but I'm, it's pending, I just put it on that side. And then when I'm done, boom, I just put it in this live. So which means the video is live. And let me just show you guys, for those who are wondering how I make my videos, let me just show you guys how I actually make my videos. So if I click on this iPhone 16 day in the live, which I already made, by the way, the video is doing good, boom. So I don't create like a crazy template for each video. I basically just like script everything and bullet point it. So if I film one part, I just like, you know, check it off. Or sometimes when I'm editing and I need to like read the voiceover, once I read one part, I check it off. So if I don't finish filming today or I take a break and then I get back into work, then I know where I stop. I could just continue from there. It just makes things easier. 
for me. I know it's still basic compared to some that I've seen, but honestly, this is what works for me. I just like to use common sense when I do things, to be honest. But yeah, that's basically the template I just put on that page. And this place is mainly focused on like work and stuff like that, or like productivity and stuff like that. So the app that I have over here is just the Notion. Even though I have the Notion widget over here, I also have the Notions app. Basically where I organize, I don't only use Notion for like work. I also use it for like planning, um, scheduling my school and stuff like that. Next to the Notions app is where I have the Outlook app. So the, out, so the Outlook app is actually where I receive um, emails. So I've been using Outlook since I was like, what, 12 or, or 13 or 14. Since I was like very young, it's the first email I actually opened. And I've just stuck to the layout ever since. I like the way it works. I like all the animations and stuff like that. It's just, it's just clean to me. My Outlook email is basically where I get most of my collaboration emails from. As you guys can see, all these are just brands reaching out and stuff like that. And in the morning, this is actually the app I go to first when I wake up in the morning. Cause bro, you don't know if money is coming in. You know what I'm saying? I just like to read my emails early in the morning. That's why I have it right here. And next to it, I have this Gmail. So Gmail is basically what I use to open accounts. If I need to open like a Facebook account, if I need to open like any kind of account, I just use this Gmail. So I don't receive any work related email on Gmail. I just use it to like open new accounts of new website, new app or new signings and stuff like that. So that's what I use Gmail for. And then I have the calendar app over here, just to same thing. I know I have the calendar and then the calendar widget. Honestly, sometimes I might need to plan something and I just use the calendar app and stuff like that. So yeah, next page is going to be my social media. So these are the social media that I use. If you see my name on any other social media, it's not me. So I use Instagram. I use um, X, I use Snapchat, TikTok, Facebook, WhatsApp. WhatsApp is ma mainly for like family because obviously I'm Nigerian. So most of my families actually use WhatsApp to con contact me. And then Discord, like I said earlier, if you guys want to see most of the things or if you guys have like any personal question to me, don't send me an email. My email is primarily for business. So if you guys want to actually contact me, get on my Discord in the general section. Or if you need anything that you see on my channel and you want me to share it, go to my Discord server. So if I just go right here, boom. See, I shared all my wallpapers. My communities are actually going crazy. They actually ask me questions and I re respond to them. I share all my all the wallpapers I use, even the ones that I make. And this is the wallpaper right here. So. Before you guys start asking me for the wallpaper again, I'm saying it one more time. Get on my Discord, link in my bio. Next up, I have this page. This is actually the page that I use the most. The social media I use the most is YouTube. So I have this widget in the bottom. If I just want to go to the YouTube homepage, boom, I could just get there. It's going to navigate straight to the homepage. Then I can see whatever is popping, who's uploading and stuff like that. I mostly watch like watch videos, car videos, um, tech videos, all that kind of stuff. So next up, uh, now I have my YouTube studio app. Boom, this is where I basically check um, how my channel is doing. I know I haven't uploaded so much in the last month and that's honestly because I was learning. I was learning how to use Final Cut. I was also learning how to use the new equipment that I invested in. As you guys can see, I didn't make a lot of money on YouTube this month. This is where I reply to you guys' comments. This is where I basically check how my channel is performing. And I hope and believe before the end of the year, we get to a greater height in terms of YouTube. Boom. Next up, we have CapCut. This is basically what I use to edit video, like quick video that I just want to edit real quick. So that I use it for. And then Lightroom is where I use what I used to edit pictures, like pictures of like my thumbnail, if I'm not with my laptop, but if I just like take a picture of something and I want it to look better, I use Lightroom. And then Epidemic Sound is basically where I get copyright free music from. Most of my best performing videos on this channel are actually copyrighted, which is actually kind of sad because I don't make money from those videos and I'm like, bro, I'm losing money and I'm putting in all this work. So I really don't care about the money right now. I'm mostly focused on growing, but if the video is gonna do good, I might as well just make the money. And if you think about it, I only pay like what $120 from this and if I make money from those videos I could just use them to pay and get whatever is left from the video and then chat GPT I mostly use chat GPT to learn how to like 
do new things you know what i'm saying if i'm maybe programming or i'm uh what's it called i'm like editing and i need to learn a new feature and i don't see the answer on youtube or on google i just ask chat gpt and it actually comes clutch you know what i'm saying it comes in very very super clutch so that's why i like chat gpt dji fly is what i used to fly my drone i just got into flying drone i just got a drone like i think two weeks ago and it's been a game changer. I love flying this drone. I actually have another drone coming in soon. So you guys will see on an EDC video that's coming in. And then this DJI Virtual Flight is another app from DJI. So you can use it to learn how to fly a drone without a drone. So it's like a virtual thing. It's like a game. So you fly a drone and it just shows you on the screen and stuff like that. But that was actually how I learned the basics of controlling the drone, but it didn't really teach me how to fly the drone itself. And then the Image Edge app is basically what I use to control my camera when I'm far away from the camera or sometimes I need to monitor. It's not, it doesn't work very fast as on a MacBook because it works with Bluetooth. I wish they could just make it work with USB-C on the phone, but I don't know why they didn't do that. But you need to connect via Bluetooth to your phone or through Wi-Fi as well to be able to control your camera. Next up, we have this fitness page. So this is where I have everything that's related to health and fitness. So this uh, this widget up here is basically for my ultra human airing. And basically I just use it to check my movement index. index. I think I've been doing good today so far, but honestly, I've been taking off the ring on and off because I took a shower, I was cooking, I was doing so many things. And next, uh, the next widget to the left is the sleep index. So that's how much I sleep last night. So it basically shows like how much I sleep. You see, I slept six hours and 40 min minutes last night. So my dynamic recovery was 87%, which is actually good. So this ultra human air ring, it basically does so much in terms of health. It checks your skin temperature when you sleep, your resting heart rate, it checks your stress rhythm and you could basically just see so many things in terms of how your body is performing which i think is good and if you're the type of person that don't like to wear like smart watch you want to wear like maybe mechanical watch and stuff like that which is actually something i want to get into rather than wearing a smart watch every time just you know uplift my drip I could just wear this ring and still track all my fitness and health and stuff like that. So that's why I like this ring. This is actually my second ultra human earring. And that's because like I lost the first one at work and then I had to reach out to them and be like, can you send me another one? You know what I'm saying? That's how much I love this ring. And right down here, I have my fitness goal so I can see how much calories I've burned throughout the day, how much I stood throughout the day. I have the health tab basically just to check everything. I basically have like this Nike run app as well. This is what I used to like run whenever I'm running outside in the morning just to get some workout in and stuff. And then I have the watch if I need to mess around with my watch face and stuff like that. And then this Yuka app is basically what I used to check the food that I buy. So 90% of the time I actually eat from home. I don't like to eat outside, but if I end up eating outside, I'll just like check the kind of product it is, the ingredients and stuff like that, if it's good for me or not. And honestly, it's been very, very clutch in my opinion. Next up, we have this halal scan. I don't like to go deep into this whole religious thing, but this is basically how I check um, the food I eat because I cannot eat certain foods and stuff. I, I could just scan, boom, and it's just gonna scan right there. Okay, the next page is where I have all the financial apps. So this one is um, the World Remit app. It's basically like an app that you could use to send money internationally. As you guys know, I'm Nigerian, so sometimes I wanna send money to my mom or my dad or my siblings. That's what I used to send. And then the Chase app is the bank that I use. Sometimes I might need to send money or receive money or just check if I'm broke enough or I'm <laughs> rich enough to get something. That's what I use the Chase app for. And then PayPal is honestly where I get most of my sponsorship money in. There's literally, I don't care about showing you guys right now because there's literally no money in there. And that's honestly because like, once I make any money from YouTube or sponsorship, I usually spend the money like that same day to buy like gears and basically pay for like um, YouTube subscription for like, for example, it's PayPal that I used to pay for my Adobe subscription. It's PayPal I used to pay for my Epidemic Sound. Anything that's related to YouTube and content creation, I use every money I make from PayPal to just pay that. And I like to keep at least like $50, but I already spent everything. So yeah. Um, and then Cash App, I probably don't have any money on Cash App. I never use it. And this Wisely Pay app is basically what I use 
to receive money before my check day from my nine to five. So basically it's connected to my nine to five. Before I get my direct deposit, if I want to take some money from it, I could actually receive it like seven days before that day. And then the wallet app is basically where I save all my electronic wallets or my cards, just in case I lose my card or I don't have my wallet with me. And then Comet is basically where, what I used to pay my light bill. Xfinity is what I used to pay my internet bill and just to check how fast my internet is going. And then Wallet Remit is still the same thing as this widget right here, what I used to pay send money back home and then this other page i think this is the last one is where i basically shop from amazon i use amazon to like buy everything i'm gonna show you guys right now that i wasn't joking about spending money on youtube so if we were, if we were to check like what i bought recently boom you guys see i bought like ssd i bought this monitor for the camera my drone case airpod drone dji drone and then I bought like this stand for my lights. 90% of the time, or maybe like health stuff, you know what I'm saying? But 90% of the time is always tech related. And that's what I just spent all my tech sponsorship money on. I don't make a lot of money from tech, by the way, cause I'm still a small channel, obviously. But if any money comes in or I get my YouTube check, I just spent everything back on YouTube for now. So yeah, Nike app, I mostly wear Nike products in terms of like sports products or I just wear like casual stuff. So that's where I usually buy my clothes. And then Target, I really don't order anything from Target, but 90% of the time when I need to buy like grocery and stuff, and I want to check if they have that thing in a specific store, I just use a Target app. And then this Timu, I never use Timu to be honest, but I, I don't even know why I got the app. And then the Apple store. So all the Apple products I have, I always like to buy them from the Apple store themselves because I don't trust, they've been making a lot of fake products these days, so I don't trust any other company. Sometimes Amazon have like legit stuff, but they tend not to even tell you if it was Apple that sold it or it was sold by Amazon or it was sold by a third party. So I just try to stay away from them. And lastly is this Listonic app. So this Listonic app is what I use for grocery lists. So if I need to go get groceries, I need to get my vegetables and stuff like that, I just come in here, type everything down, and then when I get a new product, boom, I'm gonna just check it out, boom, check it out. And that's basically how I try to manage my time when I go to like the grocery store so I'm not wasting time. And honestly guys, I have more apps on the phone, but they, these are the ones I use 90% of the time. As you guys can see, I have other apps right here, but I do not like, like to see them every single time. So that's why I just like keep this one. So the ones that are marked are the pages you see. So yeah, the reason why I'm able to like set this layout the way it is is honestly because of the ios 18 feature we could basically move like uh app anywhere we want on the screen which is actually dope and it just helps me if you guys watch my last what's on my iphone video i had to use like md blanks to like create a space on the left side and then bro it was just so chaotic bro but ios 18 came to save our lives now my control center is also basic i really didn't change anything in here but you can also like adjust all these things to your liking bro you can basically like move this right here you can move this one right here boom bro why are you tripping bro bro it wouldn't let me i think it's because i'm recording so yeah that's basically all i have on my iphone 16 pro max i'll be making a day in the life with this phone very very soon so make sure you guys are subscribed honestly i feel like my setup is pretty like personalized that's how i like the phone to look like 90 percent of the time and another thing again that I, did, I forgot to mention is most of my apps i don't turn on their notifications just because like it's very very annoying especially instagram like it just gives you notification of random people the only things i turn on notifications for are my emails and maybe amazon and i don't know like things I feel like it's worth checking out, you know what I'm saying? So basically that's what I have on my iPhone 16 Pro Max. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe and let me know what video you wanna see next. If you see anything in my video and you think is interesting and you have questions, don't forget to go to my Discord server and join the community. I feel like it's gonna grow, you know what I'm saying? Long story short, I'll see you guys on the next one, let's get it.